Hey everybody, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for Badger's Picks for the week of August 18th. Let's see who's free this week and which four champions I'm going to recommend. Free this week, we're going to be seeing Anivia, Ash, Nar, Callista, LeBlanc, Lee Sin, Leona, Nocturne, Shavana, and Zareth. And as for the first champion I'm going to recommend for this week, I'm going to give that one over to Shivana. Shivana's in a good spot right now with a State of Devourer uh, jungle item. She can farm it up really quick, and then after she gets that, maybe a Blade of the Ruined King, she can build straight defense. The combination is really good because then she can dive the back line, deal a good amount of damage to anybody she's hitting, and still withstand some punishment while doing so. It's really fun, it's really effective, it's not very hard to play either, so I recommend trying it out if you haven't. As for my next recommendation for this week, I'm going to give it to Nar. Now, Nar at first on release um, was a good, strong champion. We've seen tweaks to him. The big problem with Nar on release, though, was it was kind of hard finding a perfect build path or a starting perfect build path. It was a little bit different. People either did Bork or Triforce. But with the changes to Black Cleaver, that is now like the best starting item on Nar. It's really good because it gives you all of that armor pen, and more importantly, it gives him much needed health because eventually you will probably transition him into more of a tank. And Nar was kind of missing a good early item for that transitional point, and I think the Black Cleaver changes have really done that for him. So Nar's good again with items, and he's always been good as a champion, so you might want to try him out. My third recommendation for this week is going to go over to Leona. Now, I haven't recommended Leona in a little while, but we're seeing a rise in Braum and Alistair. And as another melee support champion, she can get right back in their faces to help lock them down and keep them off of your ADC. She kind of counters their engagements in some ways, and she makes some good engagements too with Solar Flare. So Leona is a strong support. She also brings a good passive for some ADCs to use, um, which is always a nice thing, obviously. And so if you are looking for another support in the melee category to maybe deal with some of the other ones, you might want to try her out. And for my final recommendation for this week, I'm going to give that one over to Zareth. Now, I would have maybe recommended LeBlanc, but her nerfs to her have actually affected her harder than most people would think. Um, they aren't that recent, but it made her difficult to play. Zareth, on the other hand, I think is pretty easy. I know he's not the strongest mid laner, but I think he's really, really fun to play as a mid laner. And I'll do actually more surprising damage um, than some people will think. He also is really good at sieging, and I think that's something um, that is still pretty popular in this meta. So siege mentality with Zareth, or just the poke comp with Zareth, is incredibly strong. So if you're looking for a champion like that, you might want to try him out. Those are the champions that are free this week, all 10 of them. Those are the four I recommend for you guys to try. Obviously, let me know down below in the comments which four out of the 10 you might be playing. Always like to know who you might be playing. If there's a box around any of these champion portraits right now, that means you can click on it and it will take you to a building guide of some sort for the champion. You'd be sure to check that out in case you're not sure how to play them, their abilities, the build, or whatnot. But other than that, good luck this week on the Fields of Justice.